morning. I know you can't see me very well, but it's Monday morning. I'm heading to work. I'm having a lot of anxiety today. <laughs> I don't know. I just really don't want to go to work. And I can't really talk about it because it's on YouTube. And so, yeah, that's it. I didn't film my little morning good morning in the kitchen because I forgot. <laughs> I'm trying to get back in a routine. Um, I did thankfully remember to grab my laptop bag and I did get my coffee so I think I'm good. <laughs> but anyway that's it. Just wanted to say good morning and it's Monday and the start of a new week and I'm feeling a ton of anxiety but I'm hoping that what happens is everything will be fine. Because that happens too, you know, where I'll feel a lot of anxiety and then everything's fine. So, I'm going to hope for that. And I'll talk to you again soon. So, this is what I'm working on tonight. Sitting there in my pajamas. Working on another latch hook. And I'm doing this one. It's actually pretty fun like gonna be fuzzy so the yarn is longer. Wanna say hello? And there's a bunch of colors. <clears throat> so what I did to kind of help myself is I put them in little bags like in the order that you're gonna be using them or that I'm gonna be using them. <clears throat> there's more yarn. I just separated out the first container so this is actually making it go quicker but I'm really enjoying doing this so that's what I'm doing on this Monday night trying to get the feelings of work gone <laughs> good morning today is Tuesday and I'm hoping for a good day I'm just getting ready to make my coffee and gather my things to head out the door for work. Yesterday was not a good day work-wise, but it was an awesome evening because I texted with my son Daniel, who's in the Air Force, off and on for a couple of hours. It was really great. It was really great to hear from him. He started tech school yesterday, so hopefully I'll get to talk to him frequently. And it was just really nice. He turned a bad day good. And so I'm hoping that today will just be a good day. <laughs> I'm just not up for this work stuff. Um, the stuff that goes on at work. But anyway, I'm just getting ready to, well I said that already, getting ready to head out. But I'm really tired today. I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. So um, anyway, I'll talk to you again soon. Hey there, today is Wednesday, halfway through, and like I say every day, I'm hoping for a good day. <laughs> That's enough talk about that. Um, last night I was hoping to latch hook some more. That's like what I was thinking about all day, off and on, was oh I'd like to do a few more rows of that, and then I completely forgot by the time I got home. And so my husband and I watched Hell's Kitchen and just different TV and went to bed kind of early because we were both tired. So I'm feeling a little bit better today. I got a lot more sleep last night. So anyway, I'll talk to you again soon. Hello there. It is Wednesday after work. I'm getting ready to, well I am ready, I am heading home right now and I'm so glad the work day is done. It, it has really been an unpleasant work week and I'm so tired. I'm just, you know like mentally exhausted. I'm just 
I don't know. I don't even know, you know, because I can't talk details. You know, because it's work and I don't want to get myself in trouble. But just really unhappy. Just very unhappy. Work related. Life related is great. You know, other than I miss my son, of course, but now we can text and stuff. Um, which yesterday, I only got like one text from him, but that was fine, you know? I, just knowing that I can text him, and like I sent him, could you let me get over or go in front of me, do something, dude? God. People are just rude. It's like he was pacing me. It's like that lane ends and I have to get over, so let me get over. <clears throat> I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, I sent, okay, Daniel, I sent him a picture of the dog and we just had a couple of, or I sent him a picture of the dog. He says, I miss him, and I said he misses you too. So that was the extent of our text yesterday. The day before, we texted off and on for like a couple of hours, which was really great. Um, you know, it wasn't a continuous text that whole time because he was doing things and I was doing things. And, but tonight, my husband's gonna go play pool like he does on Wednesdays. I think. I am going to take a relaxing bath, maybe have a bath bomb, maybe have a glass of wine. You know, I always say I'm going to do that. I never do it. We have wine with dust on it because I'm just, I'm not much of a drinker, but you know, I like to have a glass of wine here and there or a mixed drink here and there. I'm not much of a beer drinker, but I feel like I just need some relaxation. Then I might do some more of my latch hook. I really like doing that. I think it's fun to create and I like the motion of putting the yarn through the mat. I don't know what else to call it. It's not a hobby that I probably will do very much because there just aren't a lot of latch hook kits out there or the ones that like Hirschner's has are way out of my price range. There's just they're just so expensive, you know? So, Because they have some really neat Halloween ones, but they're just, they're way outside of my price range, and I just can't justify spending $50 or more on a latch hook kit. It just isn't going to happen. I might look to see if they put them on clearance after Halloween or something, but I've already bought the two that I liked from um, Hobby Lobby. I haven't looked to see if Michaels has them. They're just, you know, and then it's like after you finish the latch hook, then what do you do with it? There's only so many. This one I'm working on right now. The first one I made for my younger son and this one I'm gonna make for my older son. He loves like the rainbow colors and stuff, so I'm making that one for him. I'm hoping I can find a purple um, pillow cover because purple's his favorite color, mine too. Um, and if I can't, then hopefully I can find just, you know, some color that's in the yarn that's on there. Um, so I might work on that some more. I do find that relaxing. Or I might read some more of my book. I don't know. Um, I just want to do something. Or I have a, a Halloween Wars recorded and I have some ghosty shows recorded. Maybe I'll do a little bit of all of the above. <laughs> just something. It's like once I get home, I really don't want to even think about work. It's hard for me not to, but I have to make myself so I distract myself with other things because, guys, I feel like the stress is really ticking up there. And I'm having a really hard time controlling it. And I'm trying really hard because I don't want to have another heart attack. You know, I don't, I don't know if I would survive another one and that's really scary to me. 
and it's really making me rent, resent some things at work. But I don't know what to do about it because it's not like it's so easy just to go find another job. You know what I mean? I've been here 28 years, so, you know, I've invested a lot of, of my life in this company and it's not the company. I love working for the company I work for. It's the job, but it's not like I can just find another job within the company because of where I'm located, there aren't a lot of jobs. I'm just, I don't know, you know, last night I was telling my husband, I, it, it was the heat of the moment, and I was like, you know, I just wish they would lay me off, you know, I wish they would just lay me off, then I, you know, I would have severance, and then I could find another job, but, but I would get that severance, you know, because I feel like I've earned that severance. And, you know, because I was really upset. I really don't want to be laid off, you know. I think everybody has times when they complain about their job or they don't like their job and they're just like, I want to quit, you know, or that kind of thing. That's just stuff you deal with. And I know this isn't going to last forever. You know, I have a really great boss and she's helping me with some of the issues that I'm dealing with, uh, which, again, I can't talk about, you know, other areas that I'm working with and, you know, just things that we need to help people better understand. There's some misunderstandings going on for, you know, what I do, stuff like that. I'm also having added duties that have been added to me that I need to learn about, but I haven't gotten the opportunity because I'm so tied up in other things. And all of that is just really stressful, which is why I felt the need to be car lady and just vent a little bit because it really does help me feel better. You know, just knowing that I know there are several of you out there that actually care, you know, and say a prayer for me now and again. I feel like that helps. So, see, I already feel just a little bit better. So, that's it. I just wanted to vent a little bit and head home. And I will talk to you again soon. Well, I got three more rows done. I think I'm going to be done for the night. I took a relaxation bath with a bath bomb and I had a glass of Moscato and now I'm listening to some music so I'm de-stressing and I think this is turning out really pretty. And all of our other pieces. And then I'm gonna call you back now I'm back watching here. some yeah. Halloween yeah. Wars. Oh, the I stress is that. continuing to go away. Hello there, today is Thursday, and today, instead of hoping for a good day, I'm just going to assume it's going to be another bad day, and that way if it turns out to be an okay day, it'll be a nice surprise. <laughs> because if it goes anywhere near like what the last days of the week have been, work-wise, it'll suck. And I've already actually started on the bad day because I forgot to set up the coffee pot last night. So normally when I get done getting ready and come in the kitchen, the coffee pot is done. And so then I can just make my coffee and grab my laptop, my purse, and lunch and just head out the door. But today I have to wait for the coffee to brew. <laughs> so hopefully it won't take too long to get enough to get a cup and head out the door. But I'm already probably going to be running... A little bit late because of that but I can't go without my coffee especially since it's gonna be a bad day right <laughs> I'll talk to you guys again soon well Thursday workday is done and I figured I would quickly let you know it wasn't a horrible day so going into the day saying it's gonna be a bad day <laughs> I, w I had my doubts because first, you know, forgetting to make the coffee 
and then when I went to leave it was raining so it's like oh great now I'm gonna be slowed down by traffic it really wasn't that bad I was only 10 minutes later than I would normally be and I was still to work by 630 so I did get tied up in more traffic than I would have liked but and then when I did get to work I had some emails that weren't so fun to deal with but then after that so from probably eight o'clock on the day wasn't too bad I got stuff done there were several meetings the day went by relatively fast I got to take a lunch got to read my book which is very good um, it's I'm still reading the Pendergast series and it was the third book in the Helen series there's like a Helen trilogy within the series and the third book is by far the best and it's really good it's like I don't want to put it down um, not all of the books in that series have been like that where you don't want to put them down but I would say most of them have been it's definitely been a good series to read So, I didn't get out of work as early as I wanted to, but that's okay. And tomorrow is Friday, so I work from home. So, it wasn't that bad of a day. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know that. And I'll talk to you again soon. Good morning. <clears throat> Today is Friday, so I get to work from home. And I'm all Air Forced out today. <laughs> Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. <clears throat> I'm going to make a second cup of coffee. It is 7.30 right now, so I've been working for an hour. Um, <clears throat> last night when I got home, my husband, he's so sweet. He knows that it's not been a good work week, you know. And, of course, I've been um, sharing with him. You know, he's my husband. I can share stuff with him. And so he got me a surprise and I'm going to show it to you. He got me this most awesome pillow from World Market. He knows I love skulls and this one is just, it's beautiful, you know, and if you celebrate Dia de las Muertas, this would, I don't know, this would just be awesome for it. I love the symbolism of, of that celebration and culture and this is just gorgeous and so we said that's me and that's him but I just love this I love all the details it's actually embroidered can you see the embroidery it's so pretty I just love it focus and I thought it was so nice of him to to do that it just really made the week so much better you know I know my husband cares about me but just little things like this just really mean a, a lot it's kind of a dreary rainy day today so it's kind of dark the exception of little dude up there wants to look outside so I got the front door open for him but it's dark enough in here where I can see my Halloween stuff really good so why not have it going and then I can enjoy it all day every time I walk in here okay why aren't you focusing focus focused on a little guy there. Hello, Nathan. It focused on you. That's good. It's probably because it's dark in here. It's just having a hard time. I was trying to show my skull wax melter. So, yeah, I'm just getting all feeling like Halloween today. Thank <laughs> you. 
to you probably will never guess where I'm going Target <laughs> Target seems to be like my go-to place when I'm bored but I think I'm gonna go to Target and then I might go into Kohl's also because I want to look at their um, runners I'd like to get a new runner for my hallway but I'm just gonna see if they're on sale because I don't want to spend a whole lot of money um, and then I don't know if I'll do anything else or not. I'm just kind of bored. I finished my uh, book that I was reading in the Preston and Child series. I'm trying to think of, I don't know which, what number it is. It was book number three in the Helen series. And before I start the next book in the series, I want to read it. So I'm going to start reading it. And... The Stephen King's it and so yeah but yesterday worked from home as you saw and then my husband when he got home from work he was like hey do you want to go to that new Halloween store they opened a Halloween Express really close and so we went there and so we wanted to know if I wanted to go there and then go out to eat so we went there and I have a few clips from that place. It was really cool. I liked it. And he bought me that really cool um, big skull that lights up and plays scary sounds. I really, really like it a lot. And then we ate at Jose Peppers and then um, just came home. We had a really nice evening. And then during the daytime, I had texted Daniel and asked him if maybe we could talk on the phone. Throughout the week, we, you know, texted back and forth. So we set up a time for him to call. And so we talked for an hour and 20 minutes, me, him, and his dad last night. So that was really nice. And he's, he's really liking, now that he's done with basic training and he's doing tech school, he's got a lot more freedom. They still have accountability checks, like, uh, like in the evenings they have to go down and, and, and be accounted for and even on the weekends it's like every day you know in the mornings they check in they do their tech school they do um, their briefings or um, they have duties that they have to do and then in the evenings they have a check even on the weekends they have a check that they have to do um, accountabilities and stuff which is really really nice um, but, and he's all prepared for studying and, and everything. We did misunderstand, he, he misunderstood and so did we about tech school because he thought that he had only nine academic days at Lackland and then he was gonna be going to Spokane, Washington to Fairchild. But it, that's not the case. He's actually gonna be at Lackland for like, I, he said 
into December. He wasn't exactly sure of the date, but he'll be there until December. So he does have nine academic days of a certain class. It's called uh, Airman Fundamentals, I think. And then after that, he has more tech training, but it's still at the same base. He thought it was going to go to the other base, but he doesn't go to that other base until he's ready for SEER training, and, and I think the parachuting also. So, the good news about that is if we want to, we, we need to figure out when we can visit him. He's going to find that out. That maybe between, I don't know if we'll actually go visit him between now and Christmas or not. It just depends on, you know, when he can have visitors and, and, and that kind of stuff. But there is the possibility we could go down there and visit him. And then at Christmas time, he's planning on coming home for a few days. And then after that, I think, is when he's going to go to Washington. And, of course, we wouldn't be able to visit him when he's in SEER training. It's like a survivalist training. And I think for two weeks, they're out doing all that. And then after that, he's not sure where he's going to go yet. It depends on what kind of plane he gets assigned to. So we'll find all that out eventually. But it just, it was just so nice to talk, to, it was just, I don't know, it, I can't put into words how great it was just to talk to him for all that time. It was really nice. We had a really great conversation. And so yeah, so that's the update for now. I'm just headed to Target, it was sheerly out of boredom. And yes, we do need to buy toilet paper because that seems to be what I always need to buy, you know. <laughs> So anyway, that's my update for now. I'll talk to you again soon. I'm gonna try those. I think I might have tried them last year, but I don't remember. So, slight change of plans. I'm done at Target, but while I was here, my husband texted me and wanted to know if I would want to go see Kingsman. Um, I don't know if it's called Kingsman Part 2 or if it's Kingsman, I think there's a title to it, but it's the second one. We saw the first one and really enjoyed it, and it's one of those things where I could take it or leave it, you know, but he really wants to go see it, so we're going to go see that. So I'm going to head home, and so then maybe we can grab something to eat before we go. And yeah, so I'm not gonna go to Kohl's. Um, I did look at rugs while I was at Target, but they just were out of my price range. So, and it's not like I have to replace the runner, it's more of a want. So at Target, I just got stuff for lunch. I got the toilet paper, of course, that we needed. And I showed you that cereal. I want to say I tried that last year, but I'm not positive. I know I tried the Pumpkin Spice Cheerios, and I really did like those. I also found, you know those wafer cookies? Um, they usually have them like in strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate flavor. There's like those little wafers. I don't know how to explain them other than they're called wafer cookies. <laughs> they had those in a Pumpkin Spice, and they also had them in an Apple Crisp flavor so I got those because those are another kind of cookie that I think is really good with tea and they're pretty low calorie um, so yeah so I'm done Target now I'm just heading home and we're gonna be going to see a movie later so that's that for now hey there I just got out of the shower in case you can't tell I'm getting ready to start maybe reading a couple of chapters of this gigantic book and then I think my husband and I are going to watch Medea's Boo. Part 2 is coming out on October 20th, so I want to watch Part 1 first. And I've never seen it, but I've seen several other of the Tyler Perry Medea movies, and I always really like them. I think they're funny, so hopefully this one will be funny and good. Um, he went to Sonic to get us some burgers and uh, onion rings, because we're hungry, and... We went to see Kingsman, and again, I don't remember the rest of the title, and 
it was really good. The My husband liked it more than I did. My problem with it was I thought it was too long. You know how sometimes in movies they'll have like a really protracted fight scene or you know it's just they could have made it just a little bit shorter that's the way I felt about it but I still really enjoyed it and I think if you liked the first one you would like the second one so but that's it for now just waiting for him to get home and while I'm waiting I, I think I might look to see how long a chapter is on this maybe I'll start it maybe I won't I don't know this this is like a behemoth but I'm looking forward to reading it and that's why I was trying to get done with the Helen series that's within the Pendergrass series and it was good I liked the third book the best so but anyway that's it for now I'll talk to you again later hello there today is Sunday and what I'm gonna be doing is reading a book and probably cleaning house so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the weekly vlog up and get this uploaded for you and I will talk to you again next week.